A-M. Praise the Lord. All right, let's rest to our feet. It's time for church. Amen. Is someone excited to be in the house of God? It's going to be a great day. It's Thanksgiving, the first Sunday in the month of April. And it's also Thanksgiving, not only for the, uh, after having completed March, it is Thanksgiving to God after completing the first quarter of the year. So how many of you will agree that this is uh, three times the size of Thanksgiving this morning? Amen. If you ever you have time, I mean, if you ever you have a mind to give thanks to God, make it triple today. It shall be triple joy, triple celebration in the name of Jesus. So I want to welcome you. For those of you joining us from home, participating in today's service from home, welcome. Thank you for joining us. You're in the best place at the best time at the right time. And your expectations will not be cut short in, in your expectations will not be cut short in Jesus' name. Are you ready? Praise God. As we come into your presence, past the gates of praise, into your sanctuary, till we stand in face to face. I look upon your countenance, I see the fullness of your grace. I can only bow down and say, You are awesome in this place, mighty God. You are awesome, Lord. You are awesome in this place, Abba Father. You are worthy of our praise. To you our hearts we raise. You are also in this place. Mighty God. One more time. You are also in this place. Mighty God. Awesome in this place, Abba Father, you are worthy of our praise. To you our hearts be raised. You are awesome in this place, mighty God. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, blessed Redeemer. Wherever you are, why don't you just lift up your voice for a minute and just say, Father, we give you praise. Father, we honor you. We adore you, Lord, there's none like unto you. Go ahead and just give God praise for a minute and just say, Father, I exalt you. Father, I magnify you. We we'll bless your name, O God. Thank you, Lord, for this morning. Thank you for this season. Thank you for bringing me here this morning. I give you all the glory. Lord, I commit myself into your hands even for the rest of today and the rest of this service. Father, speak to us. Speak to me. I welcome you into my heart. Lord, let today be a special day. Let it be a time of thanksgiving and let our thanksgiving be acceptable. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you all the praise, Lord. And Lord, as we continue, Lord, today, Lord, let it be an extraordinary time in your presence. We ask that you manifest yourself. Show up to us in all of your glory. Let no one remain the same again in today's service. Father, O oh God, bless us. Show us your love and mercy. Father, take us to a level we've never been before. That you open the heavens over our lives this morning. In everything we're going to do here, let it meet with your approval. Lord, and let our prayers ascend to heaven in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for everyone serving in whatever capacity, fill them up. Lord, send your word. And, and as you send your word, let it bring healing, let it bring salvation in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Mighty Father, for in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. And everybody say it louder. Amen. Well, and somebody say the loudest. Amen. Praise the Lord. Let's put our hands together for the Lord. Praise the Lord. 
Hallelujah. Praise the living Jesus. Hallelujah. Are we happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? Uh, can we fill up the front seat, please? Let's move forward. Let's move forward, please. So that those who are coming, they will sit at the back. Let's move forward. Let's fill the seats in the front. Can we do that, please? Hallelujah. Please, please, let's come front. Let's come to the front seat, please. Hallelujah. Are we happy to be in the presence of the Lord this morning? We are in, we are in our tw uh, the fourth of um, year 2024, April. Let's slip our hands and lift the name of the Lord high. Let's give him praise. Let's give him all the glory. Let's give him all the adoration. Let's thank him for counting us among the living today. Even many that we start this month together, they are no more. Some are in the hospital. We give glory to God. It's by His grace that we are here this morning. It's by His power. We were not involved in an accident. We give glory to God. We give Him praise. We give Him all the honor. Because there is no one like Him. Thank Him for counting you among the living today. Thank Him for what He has done and for what He is doing and for what He is going to do. We give you glory, Lord. We give you glory. We give you honor, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you for new season. Thank you for the new way the oh whole Lord, we worship you. We adore you, Lord. Thank you because... We are going to receive our blessing this morning. All that you have in stock for us. You will give it to us these days that we have come to your presence to worship you. To honor you. Thank you, Father. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Lord, we worship you, Lord. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name. Jehovah is your name.
to be praised. Let's lift our hands and bless the name of the Lord. Let's say something good to him. Are we ready to praise the Lord this morning? 
Hallelujah. God is good. And all the time. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Let's come our hands and give the Lord praise. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you, my God. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Thank you so much, thank you, thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. Thank you so much, Lord Jesus. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. You are God. You are not just big, oh. You are not just like you. You are a great God. You are God. You are God. You are not just big, oh. You are not just like you. You are a great God. You are God. You are God. You are big. Shout hallelujah. Who is greater than Jehovah Lord divine? There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord. Ah, excellent, excellent Jehovah. Marvelous Jehovah. There is no one greater than Jehovah Lord. Excellent. Of our Lord divine, who is greater than the of our Lord divine? Oh, excellent, marvelous, 
Joy, 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 joy overflows in my life. I've got joy, 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 joy overflows in my life. I've got joy.
mighty God who is able to do all things. There is no one like unto our God. He is the Alpha. He is the Omega. He is the beginning. He is the ending. He is the Lord who is, who was, and is to come. He sits upon his throne in heaven and the earth is his foot to. He is the Almighty God. No one can be compared unto him. Father, we worship you. We exalt your name. You are able to do all things. Nothing is impossible with you, our God. Accept our praises. Accept our honor. Accept our adoration. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Brethren, is thanksgiving. We have come to return all the thanks, honor, and adoration to the Almighty God who has sustained us thus far. We are in the fourth month of the year. Brethren, the, Can the wedding in the Cana of Galilee, the couple, they were wise to invite Jesus and his mother to that wedding. They did, did, not, they did not anticipate that they were going to be embarrassed, that wine was going to get finished. But because they already invited Jesus into their lives, he was there to deal with their embarrassment. Brethren, if I were you this morning, I need you to invite God. Invite Christ into this new month that we are in. And ask him to go ahead of us. Go ahead and talk to the almighty God. Father, this new month of April, I invite you specially into my life. I invite you specially into my affairs. Jehovah, go ahead of me. Go ahead of my family. Go ahead of my household. Go ahead of the church. Make every crooked path straight before us, O oh God. Favor us in the marketplace. Jehovah, Lord God Almighty, open doors to us, Heavenly Father. Let there be healing. Let there be salvation of the, the members of my household. Let my family be saved. Father, let there be re restoration of relationship. Jehovah, every embarrassment that awaits me. Jehovah, go ahead and deal with it. Go ahead and deal with it. Father, I invite you specially into my affairs in this month of April. Glorify your name in my life. Glorify your name in my life. Thank you, almighty God. Blessed be your holy name forevermore. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Amen. Our Father and our Maker, we praise you. We honor you. We adore you. Merciful Father, we have come this morning to say thank you. It's a special time in your presence when we have come to say thank you for your goodness, for who you are, the almighty God, with whom there is no variableness nor shadow of turning. You change it not, you remain the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. We have come to worship you, almighty God. Please, Father, accept our praises and our thanksgiving this morning in the name of Jesus. Father, because we have come here, Jehovah, we are like that one leper that came to say thank you. Father, Lord God Almighty, therefore, in the service of today, perfect all that appertain to us in the name of Jesus. Glorify your name in our midst. Let us see you at work, O oh God. Let there be salvation of souls. Let there be sanctification, power to live holy. Let everyone that is in bondage be set free. Answer our prayers. Let there be testimonies. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name, we have prayed. Shout hallelujah! Amen. Let's be seated in his wonderful presence. Hallelujah. Our God is a good God. He has sustained us. He has given us life. He has not allowed us to be meat in the teeth of our adversaries. Hallelujah. Amen. You are welcome to serve his brethren. The almighty God that has brought us here this morning will surely bless us in the name of Jesus. Amen. Whatsoever it is that you need in your life, 
Our God is the almighty God with whom there's no impossibility. Everything is possible with him. This morning we are taught about the right attitude in the time of prayer. Once we have the right attitude in the time of prayer, brethren, the almighty God is not too far away from us. Amen. He will meet us all at our points of needs in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If today is your first time of worshiping with us in King's Court, please signify by raising up your hands so that we can welcome you specially. If today is your first time of being here, please just raise up your hands. We will welcome you specially. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. You can be on your feet so that you can be greeted. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. We can see all over you the glory of the Lord. You are welcome in the name of the Lord. Yes, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. Yes, we love you. Yes, we love you with the love of the Lord. Brethren, you are welcome to our midst, and we love you from the depths of our hearts. The usher has given you slips to complete. Please complete the slips you know, with your correct information so that we can get to know you better. And at the end of the service, we will want to have a brief meeting with you. Hallelujah. Don't be in the haste to run home. Amen. Thank you, Levites. God bless you. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, so we will not be having our announcements from the IT unit because of some malfunctioning things. I just need to re remind us of our weekly services, midweek services. Tell your neighbor it is no longer fashionable not to be part of weekly services. <laughs> so the fashion is to be part of the weekly services. Hallelujah. That's a new vogue. Hallelujah. I once heard a pastor tell his congregation that it is no longer fashionable to commit sin. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Sin is no longer fashionable. So being absent from midweek services is no longer fashionable. Hallelujah. Brethren, let's make our time to be part of our Bible studies on Wednesdays. And on Fridays, we also have our prayer meeting. You know, when we come together like that, it's a time for us to sharpen ourselves, a time for us to know the Bible a lot more. Hallelujah. We have been taught this morning that the person that God looks at, everybody prays. But the person that gets God, God's attention is the one who is humble, who is contrite in heart, who honors his word. You cannot honor the word of God without knowing it. So the Bible study and the prayer meeting, they are avenues for us to honor God and to sharpen each other. Hallelujah. In the course of the service, the pastor will be passing across other information. Let's be on our feet as we... Oh, praise the Lord. Before that, are there people who want to testify of the goodness of God in our midst? Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I, I was almost forgetting that. All right, please, let's come to the front. Amen. Let's clap to the Almighty God as they come forward. Amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Good morning, church. Good morning. Is it 
Can I say happy April month now? Amen, yes. Yeah. I want to thank God especially for my brothers. My two brothers were born in this month, one on the 1st of April and the other one on the 12th. I thank God for their lives. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm standing here specifically to give God all the glory and all the thanks because it would have been different. Uh, Brad Joseph, thank you so much for the choruses. I really got joy, and God is able to do all things. About two months ago, the day the African Cup of Nations played, Nigeria and Ivory Coast, I was pumping for that match, to watch that match on that day. But unfortunately, I found myself in the emergency department. I was having this constant uh, back pain. And when you work in the cardiovascular department, anything that is pain and is radiating to the left is heart attack. So I went to emergency for them to check it out. They looked at it and said it's muscular, but I should go home, take Advil. Okay. One month down the road, the, the, the pain will come intermittently if it come and go. One month later, the pain came back. This time it was really severe. I had to go back to emergency. I went there. They said, no, they have to do everything now. They did the ECG, my vital signs, and they now had to refer me to a cardiologist for them to actually see what is causing the pain. So I went to the, see the cardiologist and he said we should do echocardiogram and uh, stress test. So it's beginning to climb and I'm beginning to get worried. So we did the echocardiogram and the stress test. Everything came out fine. I thought that was it. So I went to see the cardiologist about the results and he told me that we have to go further to find out the root cause. Though the stress test was okay, the um, cardio, uh, echocardiogram was okay, we have to do angiogram now. Ha. Oh. That was when the fear came to me, like, is it that they are not telling me what is actually happening? So I was booked on Friday, this last Friday here, on the 5th of April. I went to uh, uh, Trillium Hospital with my husband, and to God be the glory, it was done, and I was told, by the cardiologist, the surgeon that did the procedure, telling me that your arteries are all in normal shape, no stenosis, no blockage. I mean, after 50 years on earth, with all the Sobeys cake, vanilla and chocolate <laughs> cake, the DQ ice cream, is it the jollof rice, the oil in the jollof rice and the fried rice? I'm standing here today to give God all the glory Hallelujah. that the arteries in the, feeding the heart of this woman standing in front of you are all normal, Amen. no stenosis, no blockage. Amen. It can only be God. Hallelujah. To God Hallelujah. Almighty be all the glory. I cannot but just thank him this morning Hallelujah. for all he has done. Amen. And the cardiologist will tell me congratulations. I mean, it's a big deal. Hallelujah. Church, please help me to thank God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. A new lease of life. <laughs> Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. After hearing that testimony, uh, I was almost keeping quiet to say there's nothing for me to say. Mm -hmm. Because <laughs> it's, it's, mine is just like a little thing compared to hers. But I remember the story of that little boy that they always uh, mentioned to us that goes to the seashells and was picking um, seashells and throwing them back into the waters. And they told me that there were lots of them. But he said to every little one that he pulls back, it means a lot to so to every little thing that the Lord has done for me, it means a lot to me. Um, I was working in a place, I think, last year, November, December, thereabouts. I was working in Coke, and January, February, March was a layoff time for us. And um, I got another factory work too. But this factory work that I got now, that was in March, I think, ending of February, thereabouts into March. I knew nothing about the work. And, um, you know, I'm, I, was work, I work like in two factories here now. And when I work in a factory, you see people that are around you that knows what you are doing and they can put you through. But when I get into this one, the guy that I was meant to work with said he's leaving in two weeks' time, that he's resigning. I said, okay, so that means you are going to put me through. He said, yes, he's going to put me through. But any time that we have to work, you will tell me to go to another place to go and work somewhere else. That I should just know no, that I should leave the work and go to and work in production. That I should leave the shipping and receiving. So two weeks' time, he resigned and he left. So I was now the only one there. So, and um, because I, I don't know any, have any experience about the work, he reported me to the whatever that, this guy doesn't know the work that they should sack him. And he came to me and said, I think you do know the work. 
that's uh, that's that's what he can say. And I said, okay, yes, I know, I don't know the work. Teach me. He said, no, that he doesn't have the time. So when he left, the new guy that was now at the head of production said he's going to help me through, to just put me through in little things. And um, because the guy is also very busy too, he doesn't have the time. So we just come around and show me one thing to do and say, you can use your initiative and move on to the next thing. So most every, like every Thursday or every Friday, somebody will come to me and say, they say they are going to sack you, Oga. So just be preparing your table and everything. Be looking for work elsewhere. But to God be the glory, this is uh, over a month, over two months there, I'm still there. The person that is uh, overheading the production is even going on leave this week I, and is committing the, my own department into my heart to say, I know you can work on it. Even though I don't know much about it, but I know God has been helping me. God has been putting me through. I also use that to remember the story of Joseph. In every stage he was going through, he was looking as if he was going bad, but God was working out something for him. So I give God all the glory, I give God all the honor, I give God all the adoration for helping me through it, for now I'm making me to spoil things within the place, <laughs> using machine and damaging things, and they would just tell me to go home. It has been God really been helping me and be working with me. Even the days that they, somebody will come to me and say, they're going to sack you, that was the day that another person will come and say, take the key to to this part of the work you are doing now so that you can assess it. So I'm really giving God all the glory. I'm also thanking God also that um, this month, April, is also my month. I know God is working out great some things for me. I know God is working on my behalf. Amen. I'm also thanking God, lastly, too, on behalf of my family, my wife, and my kids, that God is keeping us. God is providing for us. God is putting a roof over our head. We are not on the street. We are not begging everywhere, but God is supplying all our needs. All glory to God. Please Amen. allow me to sing my song also. And if you know it too, please you can join me to dance with it. E joni imaje mu mi o e sha jen. E joni imaje mu mi o sha jen jo e sha jen jo e sha jen jo foluwa. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I just want to thank God for His mercies towards my family coming to Canada. I think that on 1st of uh, 25th of April this month will be exactly one year. And still, no job yet. But God is merciful. Me and my children, we are not on the streets. We have roof over our head. Hallelujah. And God is merciful. I just want to say that thank you, Jesus. I am grateful. And I know the job will come. Amen. I believe in him. Amen. And I have trust in him. Amen. This month of April is for my two boys, their birthday. One is 11th April, and the other one is 15th April. Amen. I just want to thank God for their lives. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Now that we are talking about birthdays, those of us celebrating birthdays in the month of April, you want to come forward so that uh, we can... All pray together. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> Amen. Every birthday celebrants. Happy birthday. Let us know the dates when we will come to your houses for the jollof rice. <laughs> All right. Give the microphone to what they just mentioned the day. Morris, April eleventh. Oh. Congratulations. April 15. Congratulations. Yeah, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Mine is for my wife, and uh, I guess if I don't come out, maybe she will find out. Ah. <laughs> Hers is uh, April 21st. Congratulations. Okay, mine is April 15th. Happy birthday. Okay. April 2nd. Woo, it's already fast. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Give it to him. April 27th. Happy birthday. Congratulations to all of you. Hallelujah. Ah, happy. Um, the Levi's sing your usual happy birthday song. Happy birthday. We are saying we love you. God be with you till the end of time. May he say, well done. One more time. Oh, happy birthday. 
we are saying we love you god be with you till the end of time may he say well done amen brethren let's just raise our voices to the almighty god and point our hands to these ones who have come to testify of life. Celebrating birthday is a big deal. To be able to live to the month of your birthday is a big deal. Just thank the Almighty God for life, for sustenance. Glorify Him. Also, thank God even for the testifiers. How that the Almighty God has made the system of our sister perfect. He has perfected his head, her health. It is the doing of the Lord and it is marvelous in our eyes. Not everybody can say that. Appreciate the Almighty God for all of this. Thank God even for our brother, the job that he has. A lot of people are against him, but the Lord has singled him out. He has singled him out to excel even in the job. He has come to say thank, thank you, God, for the provision of the job. Even as he's saying thank you, the almighty God who is faithful is going to provide him greater opportunities. Let's just thank God for all of this. For his faithfulness towards our sister and her family. And that they have been here for one year. The almighty God that provides for the birds of the air and the fish of the sea. He has continued to provide for her and her family. Brethren, let's express our gratitude to the almighty God. Father, we are grateful. Almighty God, we are grateful. For all of these deeds in our midst, we are grateful. Please, Father, accept our praises and our thanksgiving in the name of Jesus. These ones that are celebrating birthdays, Father, Lord God Almighty, you have said in your word that you will bless us with long lives. Lord God Almighty, let their lives be long in the name of Jesus. Let no one, let nothing deprive them of their years on earth in the name of Jesus. Nothing shall cut their lives short in the name of Jesus. Almighty and ever living God, we ask for more of your grace. In this journey, in the next one year, Father, I ask that you go ahead of them. O oh Lord God Almighty, as many of them as are wishing for one birthday gift or the other from you, Father, Lord God Almighty, meet them at their points of needs in Jesus' name. Grant them something special in this new year in the name of jesus my father and my god i seal all of these testimonies in the blood of jesus that which is causing us to rejoice today father will not turn into sorrow in the name of jesus mighty and ever living god as many as are looking unto you and say father in my own health intervene make my arteries to be clear Father, give me good head. Let me enjoy divine head. So shall it be for you in the name of Jesus. As many as are looking unto God for provisions, job provisions, whatsoever it is, the Bible tells us, for with God, nothing is impossible. Jehovah, we are looking unto you. Our eyes are looking unto you because our help comes from you. My Lord and my God, I ask and pray that you meet the needs of everyone in the house in the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, let us also testify. Amen. Father, let us also testify Amen. in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. In Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Shout hallelujah. hallelujah. Let's clap for them as they go back to their seats. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Is there anyone that is happy to be part of the month April, the month of April? 
Are you expecting something great from the Almighty God this month? Are you expectant? If you are expectant, I need you to stand on your feet as we worship the Almighty God. As the Levites, we, you know, we lead us in a time of worship. Just worship this Almighty God who is able to do all things. Be on your feet. We are not come to the church just to, you know, while away time. When we say stand up, please stand up. You know, let's be compliant. And the Almighty God will meet us at our points of needs. We will not live here the same in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Shall we all lift up our hands to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords? The Alpha and Omega. Hallelujah. The Ancient of Days. There's a song that says we will worship the lamp of glory. He's the lamp of God. He's the lion and the lamp. The first and the last, the beginning and the end. In fact, we have been created to worship him. So Lord, even as we offer our worship to you, oh God, we pray that you will inhabit our praises. You will inhabit our worship, O oh God. And all the glory, honor, adoration, majesty, and praise will forever be yours in the name of Jesus.
you are holy. You are holy. Holy. Are you Lord God Almighty? What is the land? your heart to God this morning. Forget about everything that you're passing through. Forget about whatever issues that you have. 
if you think you will thank if you're thoughtful you will be thankful and if you are thankful your tank will be full so i just want you to think of everything that the lord has done for you since the beginning of this year 2024 think of all the battles he has fought for you that you don't even know about think of how he has forgiven you think of the fact that you wake up every morning and you can lift your legs you can lift your hands you open your mouth to speak and you can talk trust me it's a big deal if you've had any injury before you know that to be able to lift your leg is a big deal you know that to wake up ill and early is a big deal the fact that you can see your family members and you can recognize them is a big deal there are some people that don't recognize their family members there are some people that don't recognize anybody anymore they can't remember anything but your mind is complete, your mind is whole, you are sane, you can recognize people, you can remember things. I want you to give thanks to the Lord this morning. If you are here and you think you have lost anything, I'm glad to announce to you that he is the reason you've not lost everything. So he deserves your praise. He deserves your worship. He is the great I am, he is the most high God is the king of kings and the lord of lords lord we worship you this morning we worship you this morning i want us to take this song this song says saved has come to worship you the man you saved has come to worship you everybody let's sing Savior Savior call him Savior The one you saved, the one you saved, has come to worship you. The one you saved, the one you saved, has come to worship you. If he has ever healed you now, call him healer. Healer, call him healer. One more time, call him healer. healer. The one you healed, the one you healed, has come to worship you. The one you healed, the one you healed, has come to worship you. Again, say healer. Let's go. If you know he's your Jehovah Rapha, come and say healer. Healer. One more time. Say healer. Healer. The ones you heal. The ones you heal. I come to worship you. The ones you heal. The ones you save. Now call him your maker. Let's go. Maker. Call him your maker. Maker. One more time. Call him your maker. Maker. The ones you made. The ones you made. Has come to worship you. All of us that you made, the ones you made, I've come to
Thank you, Jesus. Wherever you are, just hallelujah. And just say something good to the Lord this morning. Say something good to the Lord. Bless him, honor him, magnify him. Just tell the Lord how much you love him. He is God. He's the maker of the universe. He's the almighty God. We have come to give you praise. Yes, Lord. We give you praise. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. Just one quick prayer. I want you to pray and say, Father, I'm about to hear your word. Let your word find expression in my heart. Let your word come alive unto me. Let it bring results like I've never seen results before. In the name of Jesus. Go ahead and pray quickly. You know, sometimes we've been praying. You've been asking God. You've been seeking uh, help. Uh, you know, let, let, let's ask God today and say, Father, let there be expression of your word in my life. Let there be results, unusual results in the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, mighty Father. We love you, Lord. We appreciate you. Thank you, eternal Savior. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Uh, so, Heavenly Father, as we go into your world, please speak to us. Have your way in our lives. Do that which only you can do. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And everybody should say it louder. You can still do better than that. Say the loudest. Come on, let's put our hands together for the Lord. You can do much better than that to the Lord of Lords, to the King of Kings, to the Lion of the tribe of Judah. Put those hands together for the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Um, since it's the first Sunday, I will say happy Thanksgiving. First Sunday in April, so I want you to just at least turn to your neighbor and say happy new month. Uh, even though it's the seventh, but at least we haven't seen. Uh, it's the first Sunday. Happy new month to you. Good to see you. Hallelujah. Now let's put our hands together for the Levites. Uh, thank you so much, guys. Uh, awesome, awesome. Tell us it. That was great. Thank you so much. Amen. Uh, now, one more time, look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, you're about to be blessed. Uh, to be and blessed. your life will never remain the same again. Uh, and then sit down majestically. Hallelujah. So exciting to be in the presence of God. I would rather not be anywhere else uh, but in his presence. Amen. Uh, and I know that in his presence, there's fullness of joy. You know? And on his right hand, there are pleasures forevermore. Hallelujah. So, I do not have a lot of time this morning, but... One thing that I have, I will give to you. Amen. That's what Peter said to the Lima. Such as I have. Amen. Praise God. So I, I, I want to congratulate those of you that are here and those of you joining us uh, from home. The Almighty God will bless you. Thank you for bringing us into your home always. Uh, in Jesus' name. Praise God. Uh, the title of my um, you know, discussion this morning, I've titled it Dry Bones Alive. Dry Bones Alive. Amen. And, 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 you know, without much ado, you probably already know uh, a scripture where the Bible talks about dry bones. Amen. Hall hallelujah. Even if you don't know the chapter or the verse, how many, how many people know the book where dry bones are discussed? Ezekiel. Amen. So let's head to Ezekiel chapter 37. I'm going to read from verse 1 to uh, 14 very quickly. And then, you know, we just share what God has put on our hearts and then we'll go from there. Amen. Dry bones alive. Hallelujah. All right. I will read. Please follow me in whatever um, version that you have. The Bible says that the hand of the Lord was upon me and he brought me out in the spirit of the Lord and set me down in the middle of the valley. It was full of bones and he led me around among them. And behold, there were very many on the surface of the valley. And behold, they were very dry. And he said to me, Son of man, can these bones live? And I answered, Oh Lord, you know. This question is not for me. <laughs> Lord, you know. Amen. Verse 4. Then he said to me, Prophesy over these bones and say to them, O dry bones, hear the word of the Lord. Thus says the Lord God to these bones. Behold, I will cause breath to enter you and you shall live. So God said to, you know, Ezekiel to say that 
and I will listen is upon you and will cause flesh to come upon you and cover you with skin and put breath in you and you shall live and you shall know that I am the Lord. So I prophesied as he commanded, <laughs> as I was commanded. And, and as I prophesied, there was a sound and, and behold, a rattling, and the bones came together, bone to its bone. And I looked, and I behold, there were sinus on them, and flesh came upon them, and skin had covered them, but there was no breath in them. Then the Spirit said to me again, prophesy breath. Prophesy breath. Prophesy, son of man, and say to the breath, thus says the Lord God, Come from the four winds, O breath, and breathe on this slain, that they may live. So I prophesied as he commanded me, and the breath came into them, and they lived and stood on their feet, an exceeding great army. Hallelujah. Let me just read to 14. It says, Then he said to me, Son of man, these bones that you have seen, that you have prophesied to, they are actually the whole house of Israel. Behold, they say our bones are dried up, our hope is lost, we are indeed cut off. Therefore, prophesy and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, Behold, I will open your graves and raise you from your graves, O my people, and I will bring you unto the land of Israel. And you shall know that I am the Lord. When I open your graves and raise you up from the graves, O my people, and I will put my spirit upon you, and you shall live, and I will place, in, place you in your own land, then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken, and I will do it, declares the Lord. The Lord bless the reading of his word. May the word come alive in our hearts in Jesus' name. Father, as we go into your word, please give us revelation one more time and speak to our hearts, change our situations. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Praise the living Jesus. So, from what we've read, you can see a few things going on here. Number one, um, God was saying that in from, the, from the 11 to 14th part of the prophecy, uh, uh, the scripture, God said, you know, the, the interpretation of all this is that Israel was, rep, the, the, the dry bones was represent, representative of the, the whole house of Israel. Amen. And he said, when you come back alive, I'm going to take you back to your town. So in other words, Israel was in captivity at that point in time. They had been displaced. You know, if you've ever been displaced, may God not... You know, may God help us that we will not experience it. Amen. When you are displaced from your comfort zone, America has gone through so many, um, how do I say, natural disasters. If you live in disaster zones, there are hurricanes, there are wildfires, there are all sorts of, you know, tribulations and troubles that come to communities that people live in America very common in Los Angeles. Hallelujah. And suddenly people are displaced. A big wind, a tornado sometimes, and they're displaced. In this case, it was the scene of Israel that caused them to be displaced. You know, our armies came from different places, fought them. In fact, in some cases, it looked like it was God that orchestrated the army to come upon Israel because of their disobedience. Hallelujah. I pray that God will give us a spirit of obedience. I don't know who I'm speaking with this morning. May God give us the spirit of obedience to hear God. Because when we are disobedient, we become the enemy of God. Hallelujah. And so we find that Israel was displaced. Now, I don't know where you are in your life, but sometimes we feel like we are displaced. You are out of your comfort zone. Things are not working. Amen? Amen. What, what you normally would do easily, you go to a job, what you should have. When you are in your comfort zone, you should have a job. You should have a, you know, good health. Thank God for my sister's testimony. You, you know, you should have good health and everything. Hallelujah. But when you, when, when, when things are not working properly, you experience discomfort. You are out of your comfort zone. You've been moved out. Praise God. And the challenge is that when we come out of that comfort zone, um, um, it's, it, it progressively gets worse. Hallelujah. In fact, if, 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 if 
just as I said, it's a result of almost like God's judgment. God sends an army to, you know, to displace them. And so, out of the battles coming from those people God sent, many people lose hope. Many people lose their lives. Many people lo lose their livelihoods. Many people lose relationships. I don't know if you are still here with me. And the end result is nothing but dry bones. If you've been displaced, there's no water. Um, what they say about food? A man can go without food. I don't know, maybe 20 days, 30 days. Without water. I don't know, 3, 4 days, 7 days maybe. Amen. Amen. But without air, few seconds, <laughs> I don't know, 60 seconds, 80, uh, 90, maximum 120. You know, without air, you're gone, done, finished. Amen. Amen. Without hope, we're even done. Uh, in fact, you know, next second. Amen. But I just like the, the, the picture of how God took Ezekiel in the midst of all of that dry bones. So what, I've, what I'm trying to do first of all is to picture, give you a picture of what caused the dry bones. War, displacement, God's judgment, um, you know, challenges in life. It drains life out of many people. Amen. And I don't know where you are, but sometimes it looks like many of us are experience, experiencing this symptom of dry bones. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. You go to the doctor and I'm, I'm sure, you know, my sister that testified, you know, she'd be like, what's going to happen? What are they going to say? I told you the other day, they, 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 they were calling me from my doctor. I still have not gone. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise God. <laughs> Praise God. You don't want to hear the doctor calling you. You did a test. Say, uh, we need to discuss. Ha! Ah. <laughs> Please keep, keep your result to yourself. You know, we are often told, you know, whose report do we believe? Ah, it's the Lord's report. The <laughs> doctor's report you can keep for yourself. <laughs> Amen. Amen. But you see, when you go through the stuff and challenges of life, if I call it the battles of life, because in, in you know, um, you know, when the Bible talks about you know God sending the Persians, you know, the Babylonians to attack Israel and, and cause havoc, you know, it, 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 you you can relate it to the challenges of life. Praise God. And one of the most common ones for those who own houses is the the challenge of increased. Uh, uh, interest rate on your mortgage. It's a battle. Sometimes you, it, it's so tough. People losing their homes. Displacement. Displacement. God forbid. In, in, in Canada, they're still talking about um, we're entering into a season of the highest level of unemployment. It's just increasing in numbers. And we're not talking about companies that are struggling. We're talking about companies that are solid on the ground, like the Googles, the high-tech companies that are, have you know asset base of, of trillions of dollars. They are even letting people go. How? How? Amen. Amen. So, the battles we fight is not Babylon or Persia. But it is the system. We're fighting battles of life. We're fighting. There's a lady that prof, uh, uh, testified, was it last week or the week before, when she was talking about some boss in the office that was, last week, you know, some, some manager in the office that was giving her hell. And I, I congratulate my brother, you know. See, sometimes you'll be looking at, ah, he's doing factory work. You see, there's a time that factory work will well, you know, you, when you have that, you will be happy that at least I have somewhere to go. I remember a long time ago, there was a brother in our church. He came, you know, big executive in the bank. He came here after months, three months or so at home. He was like, I'm ready to do anything. <laughs> I remember he was telling me. He said, 
the one that pained him was when his kids come from school, they always know that he will always be at home. Say, so how, how did that become a norm? Me, <laughs> the breadwinner in the house. So the day he went out to look for, they were asking, where did you go? I said he knew he needed a job. <laughs> Praise God. When it became normal for the man, head of the house, to be sitting at home, three months, no job. So that's why I'm saying that, you know, any little thing, and you never know, those, that little job that you think is a factory job is a stepping stone onto higher ground. Do you know how much he has learned already? Do you know that he's, he's, he's ready for his next job as a factory manager? You know, as an overall operations manager, he's picked up so much. That's what challenges do for us. Sometimes we are afraid of challenges. Say, ah, me, factory. Me, I can't flip McDonald's. That McDonald's, you become... I, I know there's a family here, the, 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 their daughter. She, she, she grew up in McDonald's. They were teaching her a lot of things. Even though she was working in McDonald's, she went into the track of leadership. Before you knew it, she was already a manager. If, I mean, I'm talking a teenager. They had a leadership um, um, curriculum for a McDonald's staff. She soon became a manager. In fact, when she comes in here, you'll be like, my goodness, this small girl, manager in McDonald's, doing a schedule for, for people twice her age. So there's nothing too small in the eyes of God. Amen. You give God something small, he makes it big for you. Hallelujah. Says never despise the days of small beginning. I don't know who I'm speaking with. Praise God. But where I'm going is that, that life brings challenges. And it leads to dry bones. Praise God. Where dry bones means a time of despair. Can I come out of this situation? That's what they were saying in verse 13. He said, look, we, our hope is gone. That's when it becomes very dry. When God took Elijah to the dry bones, he said, take a look at it. He said, this is the whole house of Israel. Not only were they dry in the valley, but they were very dry. The hope had been lost for long. The situation had been down for too long. Amen. But I have good news for somebody here. Just as God orchestrated Ezekiel to speak, God is making a change to come around for somebody. In the name of Jesus Christ. See, this is the thing. The dry bones there, for them to have been there for so long, and to be so dry, it means they were there for some extended periods. So I have good news for you. It doesn't matter how long the despair has been, how long the battles of life have caused you to be displayed, to, to be displaced. Amen. It doesn't matter how dry the situation is. I'm telling you, God has you covered. God has you covered. Please look at your neighbor and say, God has you, God has your back. God has your back. Amen. Praise the Lord Jesus. And so, you know, this is how God works. In the fullness of time, God always raises a prophet. And he raises a prophet that will speak. Now, this is what I love most about God. It didn't matter that Israel was in, in, um, in, in um, isolation. How do you call it? They were in, in uh, exile. Amen. You see, no matter what, how much angry God can be, no matter how much you offend him, and we get to exile, out of judgment and punishment, he still raises a prophet. He still remembers you. Those dry bones were there. God saw them. When it was time, God called the prophet and said, let's go to these dry bones and take a look. Amen. I, 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 I'm coming here with, you know, with a word from God, with all sense of conviction. That the time of being and experiencing dry bones is over for somebody here. That before the end of this month, uh, as we do what we have to do today, to prophesy and to speak as God instructed, that dry bones will come back alive again. In the name of Jesus Christ. I don't know who I'm speaking with. See, for somebody here, dry bones may represent, you know, you, you just trusting God for the next job. And you've been knocking on doors. And you've been sending out resumes. And all of a sudden, through that word of prophecy, somebody will call you back. 
in the name of Jesus Christ. Or maybe you've just been, you know, like me, avoiding the doctor's report. <laughs> and the doctor's call. Or maybe you just not see managing a situation. You don't understand. That dry bone, God is turning it around, bringing it to life. It, with God, it cannot remain dry. I said it cannot remain dry. In the name of Jesus Christ. So God selected a prophet, even though they were in exile, he made provision to still bring them back. Amen. Amen. And this is the good news that I have for you. Um, on Friday when we were praying, and those of you who joined the prayer, and, 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 and I want you to listen to me you know, today. See, we have midweek services. The fact that we don't come in-house physically, we do it online, it's for your convenience. And so even when we do it um, 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 online for your convenience, it's, it's painful to see that some of you are still not able to join. Now, I understand those who are at work. I understand that. But if you are not at work, I do not understand why you would not be in a Wednesday Bible study or a Friday prayer meeting. Amen? Amen. Because sometimes God actually just judges us by our level of obedience to just showing up. Praise God. All right. That said, I said something on that Friday. And, and this is a very important um, understanding that you must understand. Um, on the road to Emmaus, Jesus was walking with two, two uh, disciples. And he started to explain scripture to them. And the one thing that stood out in all of the things we read, he said that everything that he read from Moses, the books of Moses, that is Genesis to um, uh, Deuteronomy, and then the prophets, that is all the prophets, both big and minor prophets, he said everything we see there points to Jesus. He started to show them how they connect to Jesus. So those things you've read, those things that you understand, that those, those, those words, they are all leading to this day that I will die and be resurrected. They're all leading to Messiah. I, I took that and I ran with it. Amen. This is what we were praying about on Friday. So when you miss those kind of prayer points, a big revelation, a strong revelation like that could change your life. Hallelujah. And so, in this story, God was speaking to Ezekiel as a prophet. But in this day and age, our focus is not on some dry bone, which was spiritual, our focus is on Jesus, who is our prophet. Amen. Amen. And when we understand that Ezekiel prophesied from the instruction of God, God also instructs Jesus to speak on our lives. So much so that whatever is dead in our lives, hallelujah, it will come back to life. In the name of Jesus Christ. Can these bones live again? Can this relationship that is dead, uh, that you guys have not been speaking, that there has been uh, all sorts of problems, can it live again? God knows, but it takes the prophecy. Are you still here with me? Can this job that you've been trusting God for and you've lost hope and despair, can a job still come? He said, yes, you prophesy. And there were two levels of prophecy. The first one was uh, when he prophesied the bones came together, there was a sign. I said there was a sign. And when they came together, I now said, speak, put the breath of the Holy Spirit on these bones. Uh, and then the bones began to move. Amen. It became an, an exceeding great army. From dry bones uh, to an exceeding great army. That's your destination. I said that is your destiny. In the name of Jesus. But it takes a prophecy. Hallelujah. And guess what? The scripture teaches us that when Jesus died, resurrected from the grave, Matthew 20, 28, you will see where the Bible says that when he uh, um, died, resurrected, the Bible says graves came open. That those that were already dead in the grave, they came out. They walked and people saw them in the streets. Amen. Your story is changing today. God is giving you new life. Every dry bone is coming together. 
new life is coming. Lufus, come on stage. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Now rise to your feet. Uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, I want you to, to, to act like Jesus and speak to dry bones. Uh, begin to prophesy. What is dry bone to you? Is it your relationship? Is it a new job? Uh, is it a relationship that was broken? Uh, is it uh, 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 your business that you've been looking into and saying, hey, you know, these bones must come back alive. Uh, you know, this business must uh, be restored. Uh, begin to speak uh, like the Jesus will do, such as I have. Uh, the, 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 the disciples of Jesus, uh, you know, after Christ had uh, touched them, he said, greater works you will do. Come on, go ahead. Uh, quickly talk to God this morning. Uh, what represents dry bones? Uh, is it a child that is struggling in your household? Uh, to prophesy over that child uh, and say, child, it shall be well with you. You will come back alive. Uh, you will speak. You will have joy in the name of Jesus Christ. Uh, what represents dry bone? Uh, is it that new is it your immigration situation? It's been dry. It's caused you despair. That you've lost hope. When will they ever call me? Will they give me my job permit? Will I become a Canadian resident? You've been in despair. You be, things are not. You you be, you've just lost it. Listen to me today as you begin to prophesy. Jesus speaking on your behalf. You standing in the place of Christ. You prophesy to that dry bone. He said, "Prophesy, son of man. Can this bone live? Prophesy." Speak to it uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, my, my change is coming. My help is here in the name of Jesus. Oh God, uh, once I was dry, but now I'm alive. Uh, now I'm, I'm in the army of God, uh, an exceeding great army. My life is changing for the better. Prophesy. Prophesy means you speak the word of God to your situation. Prophesy means you speak your truth. The true thing you want God to do, you prophesy it and project it uh, into your situation. Is it a new job? I'm telling you, it does not take, it's not hard for God. It's not hard for God. It's only one day. It's only one call. It's only one, um, one more resume in the name of Jesus. Uh, prophesy. Maybe God was just waiting for a day like today for your faith to be stronger, for, your, for you to believe God uh, in the name of Jesus. Uh, ask God. Uh, God, if you are angry with me, please have mercy. Lord, if you are angry with me, in the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Savior. We give you all the praise. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. I'm going to say a short prayer here. But ultimately, what I want us to do, you see, um, when that army came up, and breath came to them. If there was ever anything that that army did, they rejoiced. They praised God. They danced. And if you understand prophecy and faith, most times we are programmed to see, then we believe. Is that not so? When I see it, I will believe it. Even Thomas said it. He said, until I see Jesus and I see the wound in his hands before I believe. But Jesus said, what is better is to believe first and then you will see. Hallelujah. My challenge to you as we go into this next session is to dance like you have seen it. Like I mean, basically to believe it that God through the, your dancing and rejoicing, as I dance and believing, then I will see the bones come alive. Hallelujah. Because dry bones can't dance. When you begin to dance and shake around like this, what you're doing is you're putting those bones together. And then, with our offering and everything, you put breath on the bones. Amen. <laughs> and then testimony will come after. Is there anybody who is ready for those testimonies? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So I want you to prepare a good Thanksgiving offering. One, one of the things we do here, we just try to take all of our offering at one time. So at this point in time, I want you to put together your offering. Your Thanksgiving offering, but especially don't forget your tithes. Sometimes many of us have forgotten that Titan is important to God. 
You know, you, you, you know, tithing means a tenth of your income. You know, as you get the income, God says, I will rebuke the devourer for your sake. He says, try me if I will not open the windows of heaven. Sometimes we walk in a, we walk in a lack because we don't understand what God is doing. He says, try if I will not open the windows of heaven for your sake. Hallelujah. It takes us tithing for God to do that. Are you ready? If you need an uh, envelope, please uh, get an envelope from the ushers. But better still, let us uh, email. Let's do email transfer. Email money transfer to uh, kcbpay at gmail.com. kcbpay at gmail.com. If you're writing a check, just write King's Court RCCG and that's enough. Amen. If you're using an envelope, please put your name. Put the date on that envelope so that we can always put it together. Amen. Are you ready? Hold that thing up. You know, um, it's part of prophesying. My brother that was prophesying here, he says, every Sunday, Thanksgiving, I will be singing a song and dancing. And God is answering him. Amen. Put that off, uh, envelope before God and say, God, I'm sending this to you. That before the end of this month, let me be one of those coming out to testify about dry bones back alive. As you're sending that money, be sending it as a messenger to the, to the kingdom. Say, Lord, this season, my dry bones must live again. Dry bones alive. Amen. And then we will now all of us come out orderly. Amen. Even if you sent it by email, you come out. Even if you didn't have anything to send, your dance step is still something you are offering to God. But it's still better to have a substance because God multiplies what you bring. Amen. Are you ready now? Hallelujah. Are you ready? Church, are you ready? Those of you at home, kcbpay at gmail.com. You must dance with us where you are at home. Amen. Praise the Lord. Is everybody ready? Levites, are you ready? So, Talazi, over to you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is the time to move your feet and give the Lord some praise. We are happy to be in God's presence. Hallelujah. If you're happy to be in God's presence, this is the first Sunday in the month of April. I just wanted to give him quality praise this morning. Are we ready? Oh, yes. Hallelujah.
hands up. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody put your hands up. Everybody rotate. Everybody rotate. Let's go. Hey, rotate. Hey, everybody rotate. Let's go now. Rotate. Hey, everybody rotate. Hey, everybody. Thank you. 
for eternity once But in the eyes of the blind No one like you No one like you I joined this great Jesus, we bless your name, O God. Come on, just say something good to the Lord. Just appreciate him right now before I pray and close the whole proceeding of today. Just say, Father, thank you. Thank you for this day. Blessed be your name. In Jesus, thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, we have worshipped. And Ezekiel 37 verse 14 says, And I will pour my spirit, I will put my spirit within you, and you shall live. And I will place you in your own land. And then you shall know that I am the Lord. I have spoken and I will do it, declares the Lord. It says not only, if I let me back up to 13. You know, it says, uh, um, Thus says the Lord, Behold, I will open your graves uh, and raise you from the graves, O my people, and I'll bring you into your land, uh, into the land of Israel. In other words, I will restore you. Restoration means bringing you back to where you originally were and doing you better than that time says and you will know that i am the lord i will open your graves and you will live 
I'm going to put my spirit within you. I will restore you, says the Lord. Where have you fallen from? What have you missed? What are your struggles? Say, God, I'm going to restore you. I'm going to bring you back. I'm going to put you in your land. I'm going to make these dry bones alive again. We've done what we can do. We've prophesied. We've prayed. It's up to God to do what he just said. And I'm going to stand as God's servant in this place. Even this afternoon. He's our shepherd. But I'm an under shepherd under him. As a set man called in the, into this house. And I'm going to pray. Please follow me as we pray. Father, thank you for your word this afternoon. Lord, your children are here. And you promised. You said you put your spirit within us. And we shall live. In other words, we'll come alive again. From dry bones to living again. Father God, for everyone under the sound of my voice that have experienced dryness in whatever capacity. Could it be immigration status, finances, businesses that have been dry relationships, job-wise, whatever has been tried because we've danced, because we've brought our gift, because we have prayed, because we've prophesied, we've done all that we can do. Lord, come and do your own part, Father, in the name of Jesus. You promised to do it and you're not slack concerning your promises have you said it will you not bring it to pass father therefore oh god because we've done our part lord come speak to our situation in the name of jesus let immigration statuses be resolved let those trusting you for work let them get their new job let those red dry bones have been related to ill health, challenging health situations. Bring healing unto us, Father, in the name of Jesus. For those, oh God, that just need breakthrough in any other way that we've not spoken about. Father, let that situation leave. Tell me turn around so they can live again in the name of Jesus. Father, visit your children. Lord, we brought our gifts unto you this afternoon. As we've danced and brought our gifts, some online, we pray, oh God, that you will receive the gifts from everybody. Take it as a message to you. We send it as a messenger to your throne. And use it to remember everyone accordingly in the name of Jesus. Lord, we stand and I stand. Lord, because you are God, you sent this word today. Lord, before the end of this month, yes. Lord, I prophesy for everyone trusting you for change. Let them receive it in the name of Jesus. Father, what you can do in one year, you can do in one month. Oh, yes. What you can do in one month, you can do in one week. Father, before April is over, this is that season of dry bones coming alive. Let our dry bones come back alive in the name of Jesus. Thank you, Heavenly Father. As we go, we go not out of your presence. Let your presence go with us. Let us reach our home safely. Lord, let this week ahead be supernaturally good for us. Let us encounter your mercy. Let us encounter your goodness. Let us encounter your favor. Walk with us. Move with us. Guide us in the name of Jesus. The prophecy was in two parts. The first part was the bones coming together, but there was no breath. But it was a good sign. This week, let there be good signs. Let there be signs of better things to come. In the name of Jesus. Thank you, eternal Savior. Lord, for the programs that we will have this week on Wednesday and Friday, we pray, oh God, Lord, that as you visited us today, visit us in the midst of those midweek programs as well. In the name of Jesus, let our week go well. Let us have testimonies in the name of Jesus. For all of your children that you have used to minister today, refill them back with a fresh anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. All the Levites and Tola as well who's come here to support, Father, breathe upon him. Touch him, touch his ministry, touch his life. Continue to, you know, lead him to watered gardens in the name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty Father. We give you all the praise, Lord. For in Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Have you been blessed today? I didn't hear you. Have you been blessed today? Your life will never remain the same again. Wherever you go, go with the knowledge that all dry bones are alive. 
I said, all dry bones alive. No more dry bones. Look at your neighbor for me. I say, neighbor, no more dry bones. All dry bones alive. From today, all dry bones alive. All dry bones. Talk to another person. All dry bones alive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, we're going to shout seven powerful hallelujahs. And before I shout the hallelujah, our first timers, let me see your hand up again. Our first timers, everyone who is a first time guest today, God bless you. You're going to follow Pastor Adeswa to our welcome center. Take your bag, take your Bible, you know, and so that you can go and uh, you can be with her. So, and after that, you guys continue, right? Amen. Are you ready for the hallelujahs? Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Praise the Lord! Let me say this. The Bible says that the shouting side is the winning side. If you can't shout, how can you be a winner? <laughs> Amen. <laughs> Praise God. And let me also say this. Because I'm shouting, I mean, we're uh, um, doing the closing, does not mean service is over. The Levites are still going to continue for a few more minutes. So if you still want to be in God's presence, hang around a little bit. Talk to somebody, dance. Amen. Where are we? We've done three. Number four, praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. The last and the loudest, praise the Lord. God bless you. Be strong in Jesus' name.